So welcome back to another episode. And this is a game that we really like. Oh man. We really love. We really, you know, had a huge impression on us when we were, were younger uh, guys. And that is Resident Evil 2. Man, I remember when this game came out, I was working at uh, Lifestyles Cafe. Yeah. Remember that job? Mm. And it was one of the first times I actually had expendable income. And so I would go from there to a nearby EB Games every day after work and just chat with the staff, et cetera, you know. The day this came out, I bought it because they had a demo set up in the store and I played about two minutes. I was like, done. I bought this and a Lundra on the same day. Money on the counter, picked them up, left, got on the bus and went straight to this guy's house. Now, I gotta give you a little bit of a backstory of my history with Resident Evil. The first game was out on the PS1, yeah. and I was bad at it. I remember boring it from people, and I was like, God, I'm terrible at this game. I was getting killed all over the place. I I just couldn't get with the program. I yeah. found it was very, very hard for me. And you and your brother were awesome at the game. Well, my brother was awesome at your the game. Your brother was awesome. I was at okay at it, because I, I yeah, watched I him. From him yeah. But he was, he was really good at it. He went through, and I mean, he sort of showed me. Because I was used to, well, if you're shooting in games, you have lots of bullets. That's how it works. Yeah. These games, mm -mm. survival yeah. horror. You had to hoard your ammo so insanely. Yeah, especially the first game was oh. like nuts. And so the first game, I didn't particularly like. I understood yeah. why people yeah. liked it. It had its moments and things like that, but it wasn't really for me. And it wasn't until I was out with my, you know, our friend Aaron back in the day. We walked into an EB Games, and I kind of we walk in and we look up, and it was showing. This is the first time I saw Resident Evil 2. And they're showing a, a demo of it playing. And I just was like, holy cow, what, you know what excited me? Is it looked like an arcade game. Yeah. Going around, shooting, you know, the shotgun, and zombies, and blood, I'm like, this in 3D, so good. in 3D, so good. in 3D. It was yeah. amazing, and I, 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 I was blown away, and I actually remember, I, 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 we're looking at the screen, and I actually held on to his shoulder, and I'm like, oh my god. It was actually that big yeah. of a moment. And then, yes, you came over. Yes, and we, I sat down, and we cracked, like, I, I hadn't even taken the plastic off. We cracked the plastic off, opened it up as our traditional way, cup of tea, yeah. lit a cigarette, put it in, and I played it for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And you just slapped the power button off, which didn't matter to me because I didn't have a memory card with me. Yeah, we, so, we, you know, we were saving Slap the power button off and said, I don't want to see any more. I'm going to buy it right now. And we got in your car yeah. and drove all the way out to Willow Video Games, yeah. and you bought it that second. I've never done such a... I've, I've done it a few times, but it was one of those moments when I saw it, I was like, have to have this. Yes. This is so damn good. And the, what we'd seen at that point was the cinema. Yes. The opening cinema was really good. It was cheesy. It was bit. bad. Yeah. You know, the dialogue is a little bit, uh, but it, there was something brand new about this. For the time, the animation on it was incredible. Yeah, it was really and good. And it was really good. And they built this amazing tension. The atmosphere. And, and, and atmosphere right yeah. away. So good. And the fact that you had the two discs so you could start as either protagonist and it was yeah. a full story on each disc. So it wasn't just, you know, you play through one and then you play through two. Different stories and the cinema is different and you could continue from disc one to two. So cool. Yeah, and you, you, we were obsessed with this game. Yeah, well, what ended up happening is, see, uh, you were going out with Tanya at the time, yes, oh. and you were staying at with, with her for the weekend. Ago. Yeah, I I set up that night, like you know, when I got my own copy, we came back, and I drank a bunch of beer, and yeah. I just I just sat there. I was just so in awe of it. I was just kind of watching the screen at times, just standing, going, "Wow!" And uh, I got up the next morning, straight to the PlayStation. Yep. On. And I'm in. Yeah. You know, like, it was just like totally virtual reality. I'm in this game. And I'm playing it, and I just was so addicted to it. Yep. And I just was like, like, so I played it all day. I didn't feel that great the next day because I had those beers. But I played it all the next day, and I loved it. And then we talked on that evening. Yeah. And it, we were just, actually, it was funny because my phone rings, and I'm like, I pick it up, and I'm like, hello? And I just hear this, uh, I'm like, what? And I was like, yeah, I didn't play the game that much. And I'm like, I'm like, what the, what the fuck? And you're like, hey, I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. And you, and we had that kind of moment that you yeah. were playing it, I was playing it, and we were like sharing off stories about it. But what, what was it for you that made this so memorable? Like I know for myself. Well, well, it was, first of all, it was the first survival horror game I've ever played. It was the first one I've ever played. Well, like what, the first one didn't the, kind the, of... The, not, yeah, I didn't really, my brother played through that, he finished it, he did, but I didn't really get into it. Like you, It was ownership, it wasn't ownership yeah, of I didn't it for feel yourself. It. Yeah. This one, 
like from the moment go, I was there and I was into it and I wanted to do everything and I want to unlock everything in it. I wanted to, I mean, golden era of Capcom right here. And it was so engrossing. Yeah. You wanted to find all these secrets. The story unwound at just the right pace. And, that, and that's, okay, that's something we got to talk about here that is, is so key about Resident Evil 2. And there's so many fans of Resident Evil 2 yes. that hail this as one of the greatest in the series. And... The reason I think why, and I was actually playing the game the other night, and I was just like trying to soak it in again. Yeah. The the atmosphere, the music, the piano. Oh. It's just a lot of the piano when you get to the police station, and it's just oh, like that. There's man. just like an atmosphere that's created with the game. They got it right. Yep. So perfectly. Yeah. Right. So so absolutely right, and uh, created this great game environment. And also, you're in that city, Raccoon City. It's shut off. You're alone. Yeah. And and that's also something I want to say. The storyline is simple, Very. and I like, I know Resident Evil over the years has gotten a little bit more overly Convoluted. complicated. It's gotten very complicated, where I enjoyed the simplistic story. In Raccoon City, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're playing as Leon, going through the city, and that's, that's it. That's, yeah. that's what we're doing, and you were trying to get the hell out. Survive and escape, that's all it was. Now, all, yeah. the, all the weird crap that happens along the way that if you haven't played it, yeah, go play it. Uh, and if you have played, you know where I'm coming from. It's, it's dark, it's weird, it's mysterious, it does keep you guessing a bit, yeah. but it's still very simple in that it's the story of trying to get out of the city and sort of what happened to causes. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's really, really it. Now, it's funny when you mentioned that, that I was staying with Tanya at the time because this is, and this is hilarious, is what an amazing boyfriend I was because She'd have gone to bed, it's the weekend. She's going to bed, she needs to get sleep. She she had a full-time nine to five job. I'm working part-time at a cafe. So there I am at two in the morning at her place and on the she, phone. And she, and she, she, didn't like, she didn't like you playing video games. Yeah, She's she, dead she, against was, it. she wasn't into the video game thing at all. you know. But And here I am at two in the morning in her place, staying at her place, on the phone with this guy, trying to talk quite not waking her up. And I'm like, oh my God. Where are you at right yeah. now? Okay. Oh, I just got off of this okay, and that. Just and I'm just, me out I'm and, free. Yeah, oh my god! Yeah. I'm like ten minutes behind you. I can't like, put down your controller and let me catch up. We can play through it together. And we did that. We yeah. like put down the controller so the other person and we'd be playing it simultaneously, yeah. and, like freaking out, talking on the phone. So you know, like, with our, remember back then with the big cords on them. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I understand. Oh yeah. You had to <laughs> hold it here, getting a crick in your neck, yeah. and doing this so you can see the TV yeah. straight. Yeah. Oh, it was so. And can I can I tell you like one of the things that I I always remember that's like implanted in my mind was that you get all the way through the game and spoilers so you know, if you haven't played the game please go away for, for now spoiler yeah. off is when you get to the end laboratory oh. and and you have a certain time limit to get out oh i remember and that. you know what that reminded me of it reminded oh. me of alien one you know where where <laughs> it was going we was running out and yes. all of a sudden you are yeah. running out, and you know, it's flashing red, and it's that creepy woman's voice. Five minutes until detonation. And yeah. you're just booting it out of there. And I was, like, it's one of those things that it's, that was kind of an early thing in video games. I had never experienced that kind of moment yeah. in a game before. And I'm feeling the tension of running out, and I'm like, holy shit, holy shit. And I really yeah. was so into it. It's so funny that now if that happens, I'm like, yeah, I probably have a bit more time. I'm not too concerned. I hit the wall, no problem. I'm sure I have more time, you know, because but, but then I didn't know if I had time. I didn't know if it would be over. You were just like and I'm, like, I'm not doing this all again. I, oh. I don't can remember the last time I saved in the game, you know, all that. But there's so many things like, you know, the ink cartridges for saving. Oh, man, that all music that. in the save rooms, that really calm kind of. It was save rooms were that haven when you're pumped with adrenaline, you're surrounded by zombies, you've just gunned your way through, you have three bullets left, you're freaking out! And then you get into a save room, and that bit of soothing music kicks in, and you kind of go... So nostalgic now. Yeah. It really, really is. And it gave you that little island of calm. No, the thing is, is like a lot of people hail it as being one of the best Resident Evils. Yes. Let's have a look. How would I gauge? Let's see how we, uh, you know, think about Resident Evil. The Resident Evil One is a classic. You know, I'll give it that for sure. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't my favorite in the series. No. Number two was like a game changer for me. I was, yes. I was sold on Resident Evil. I would buy anything Resident Evil after that. Yeah. The third one I liked, a bit more of an action game, very easy, finish Side fast. Side story to this, yeah. so at the same time, same time frame. Yeah, so off with an M16. The fourth game I really liked. It was very, very yes. difficult at times. I, I, I had some hair pulling moments, but got through the game, loved it. Number five was more of an action game, and I, I, I didn't understand where the survival horror went. Yeah, I But that's fine, it was an okay action game. Uh, Number six, I, I, I have not played it. I haven't bothered. 
I haven't picked it up. I've got to admit, I you know what? Haven't played it at all, and you know, I'm I'm not, okay. I'm not buying Capcom games right now. Yeah, that's the same. So that's my thing. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll although, talk about although them. we're about to get into something that's making it really difficult for me. Yeah, like actually, it's just not. Uh, I don't want to get into Revelations. I don't get into the whole. That's a whole review into itself. But yes. Revelations, uh, I really like. I finished it in one sitting. I actually finished it in one sitting. And, but, and again, you know. I'm on the phone with him the other day, and he's telling me about it, and it brought me back to this. And well, I'm that's going, it. I Re on. Revelations made me feel the way I did about uh, you know Resident Evil 2, and Capcom has teased about it. Oh yeah, you want us to make a, a remake of Resident Evil 2? We'll think about it. And this is one that I'm like, wow, I have all games for them to remake. I would really... And now, we are caught in nostalgia for the game Yes. as well, but it is still... It's still such a great game. It stands up to this day. Yeah. It stands up. To this day. Yeah, and you can actually play. There's a lot of ways to play it. There was one on the N64, yeah. a Dreamcast version, which I didn't know about, yeah. the GameCube version, which I, I actually have over here. Um, and then there's also the anthologies and stuff like that on the PS3 now. You can play it. So if you haven't tried it out, you can play that way. The graphics are a little bit older now. They, they are a bit they dated. Are, they're showing their date but a little bit, but still it is a classic, an it, unbelievable classic. It is, and it is such a fantastic... I mean, you can look past the graphics for this because the story is so good, because it's such a classic game. Hmm. Honestly, you, you've got to play it if you haven't. Yeah. If you've started with Resident Evil, uh, like, I don't know, 5 or 6, go back. Go back and just give it a shot. So, Anyways, guys, we just wanted to gush about some of our memories and some of our fun times playing Resident Evil 2 back in the day. A, a fucking fantastic game from... I can't even hold my enthusiasm back, I'm swearing. I can't even <laughs> hold my enthusiasm back for Resident Evil 2. So, anyways, guys, until next time.